Because they'll be waiting for you on the other side. Masters of Horror Lovecraft Devilish Episode Cigarette Burns Explored If you thought you had seen all that there was to see about scary blood-filled deaths, then think again. There is definitely a major production that you are yet to lay your eyes upon. Hello everyone and welcome back to Marvelous Videos. Today, we bring to you a horror found straight from the gates of hell. You are about to dive into a gore-filled narration, but hey, that is exactly what every horror fan has been waiting for, right? Anchor Bay has gathered some of the best horror film writers and directors to bring you the anthology series Masters of Horror on the Showtime Network. For the first time, the biggest and most famous names in the horror film genre have teamed up together for a series that will feature 13 one-hour films each season. It is something that you have never seen before. For today's video, we will be exploring one episode from Masters of Horror which shows the genius of John Carpenter. The anthology series is created by the director Mark Garris who invited a bunch of his director friends over for a dinner and well, the horror masters came up with something you will never forget. The series has two seasons with 13 episodes each and we will make you familiar with the 8th episode of season 1 called Cigarette Burns. Do not bother asking yourself what could be missing from this episode because it has everything. From scary men, horror in the air, to absolutely terrifying amounts of blood and gore surrounding you as if it was something normal. But if you are a fan of John Carpenter's work, then you are in for a surprise and a huge treat because it looks like he has given his all when he directed Cigarette Burns. It is like a detective movie at first, but also a movie within the movie. There is blood spilling in the most horrible way possible throughout the movie and it is almost as if the characters are stuck in the loop. The story of this movie will have you pouring your guts out, literally, at one point. Well, let us check out why this movie is so damn scary. Are you ready? Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you, and let's begin. Are you my sweet man, Kirby? Film in the right hands is like a weapon. Cigarette burns. Since the beginning of the movie, Carpenter has made it sure that the audience should expect a lot of gore out of this film. We meet Kirby Sweetman who was played by Norman Reedus. He is known for finding really rare films for his clients. Now, Mr. Bellinger played by Udo Kier has an exactly similar demand. What looks like the hardest film to find for Kirby will soon become something he is obsessed with. The film he is tasked with finding has only a single copy in the whole world because the rest were destroyed. Just to tell you how dangerous this film is. It is a 30 year old French film titled La Fin Absolue du Monde, The Absolute End of the World. Do not assume this to be a highly rated classic film. It is classic, but in a sense that when it was shown to an audience for the first time during the original premiere of the movie, something out of the ordinary happened in the theater. You can call it a homicidal riot. And Masters of Horror Cigarette Burns works similar to so many Lovecraft and tales in which an object that subtly gains entry to a realm of hell that is mysterious or simply cannot be understood or even imagined by our basic minds. In the very next moment, we meet a man who lives like Bellinger's captive only because of his sick obsession with collecting not just rare films, but anything related to those films. This man was a part of this exact film in the sense of a living prop for it. The man's wounded shoulders look almost as if he had angelic wings which Bellinger cut off. The imprisoned guy confesses that his existence is linked with the films and that is how Kirby has proof that the last copy of the film has not been destroyed yet. Well. Now begins the detective hunt for La Fin Absolue du Monde. Kirby first meets up with the film critic who wrote a review for this. Even though the guy has gone half insane as a result of his obsession with this film, he warns Kirby and gives him an audio tape of an interview with the film's director. All the rumors surrounding the film and its directors clearly take a mental toll on Kirby and he starts visualizing his wife's suicide. He also has an added stress because he owes money to his wife's father. Well, after this, Kirby Sweetman meets his acquaintance, a film critic, Henry Cotillard. Apparently, this guy was the projectionist at a secret screening of the film. The only reason why he did not go insane or worse, dead, is because he looked away when the film was being played. 
He heard a lot of terrifying noises coming from the theater and death surrounded the whole place. This film was clearly no joke or funny business. So, he also tried to stop the screening at one point but it ended up being blacked out. When he woke up, his left hand was brutally burned a scar that he can never recover from. Once again, Sweetman is reminded of the horrors of this film but he still goes ahead with this task. It is less about the money now and more about his curiosity about the film. Henry sends him to a filmmaker named Dalibor who is played by Douglas Arthurs. Thinking that this man might know where the film is, Sweetman is easily led into a trap. Well, there never really is a way to escape death after all. It looks like Sweetman has been having visions where he sees a kind of ring of light and someone screaming through it. It looks like cigarette burns. So could it be because he is getting closer and closer to finding Le Fin Absolu du Monde? Dalibor, the filmmaker, reveals to Sweetman that in the picture, an actual angel is sacrificed and the evil of that tragedy infects everyone who watches it. And that is why evil leads to evil when anyone watches it. Sweetman then has another vision and when he wakes up, he appears to be holding a machete. Dalibor's neck has been cut and then Sweetman finds out about the window of the director of La Fin Absolue du Monde, Katja. Now, there is going to be a very serious turn of events in the film. Katja then hands over the only remaining copy of the film to Sweetman. It looks like the director in his last days used to obsessively continue watching the film on days on end. That drove him insane and he tried to kill himself as well as his wife. Clearly, Katja got lucky but he died. Soon, when the copy reaches the hands of Bellinger, he appears acting possessed by the mere smell of the film. Things are slowly taking a toll at Bellinger's mansion. After watching the cruel murder of an angel in the film, Bellinger's butler literally gouges his own eyes out in front of Sweetman. And if you are wondering what happened to Bellinger, well, he does something even more insane. He suddenly feels rather inspired by the film and has apparently made one himself. So, Bellinger literally cuts himself so deep that he takes out his intestine and loads it into the reels of another project. Now, on the other hand, Sweetman's father-in-law also appears at the scene looking for his money. After blacking out, both of them are suddenly watching the movie but covered completely in blood. Sweetman then realizes that both him and his father-in-law need to die as neither of them can really let go of his wife and set her free as long as they are still alive. Sweetman then, without mercy, murders his father-in-law and then kills himself. The film ends with a look at the free angel who takes the two film reels, the one Bellinger made and of course La Fin Absolue du Monde. After weirdly thanking the bloody corpse of Sweetman for the film reels, he walks out of the theater. Well, there you have it, a kind of film that is no longer made. The writers of this story, Drew McWheeney and Scott Swan, definitely deserve a lot of credit for creating something that easily could have taken the wrong turn and ended up being a basic movie. It is almost as if the trauma and terror is almost roaming around in the film even before Sweetman finds La Fin Absolue du Monde. Carpenter sure did a number on the audience with this scary attack and kudos to the amazing star cast for keeping up the pace of suspense going all through the end. Well guys, with that, we have to come to an end of another horror classic video with its thrilling Lovecraft and tale. We hope you enjoyed watching it as much as we enjoyed making it for you. Make sure to drop a like and hit the subscribe button on your way out. Also, tell us in the comments down below what part of the movie did you absolutely not expect to see. Until then everyone, stay safe, take care, and see you in the next video. Have a great day ahead. I'm hungry. <laughs>